Welcome back to Off the Record with me, Divya Singaravelu. Today, I'm in conversation with Professor Bala V. Balachandran. And before we went on the break, you were just telling me on how, you know, we criticize the Indian government to be very slow acting. But then yeah. in the case of Satyam, that yeah. we were just discussing See, about, uh, they a, finished everything in 90 days. Unbelievably right. You are right. See, for example, that is why it has to be propagated. A lot of people say India is like, a, like an elephant. It doesn't even get up. Even <laughs> gets up, it doesn't move. Mm. Whereas in this case of Satyam, we did such a thing in 92 days. Mm. The whole Satyam episode has been handled mm. and a new board with Deepak Parag has, had, mm. has been created and then put confidence in the minds of the customers mm. and resurrected with Mahindra Satyam. Mm. Whereas two and a half years later in United States, mm. still the case is not clear <laughs> and nobody has been convicted mm. excepting this antifasto and that is still there. Now who is slow? Who is fast? Mm. So we are always told that India is inefficient, mm. whereas US is efficient. Not so. Let us let the facts speak. Mm. So that was done because the imagination of the minister to take some serious risk mm. and do what is good for the country and with support by people like me to um, identify mm. what exactly is the right thing mm. to do and we did that. Mm. So I think we, we, these things have to be exhibited and compared. Hey, the, let us understand the facts. So talking about being fast, being efficient and about your new concept of money value of time, uh, you have you are the founder or you are the one who introduced this concept of one year MBA yes, in yes. India. But if you think about it or if you look at it right now, a lot of people in the industry actually tend to criticize this one year MBA format. So how would you address that? No, I, it, it, they can criticize the proof of the pudding in the eating. Let us take our graduates. I don't want to say every one year school will be great. Mm. I do not want to say every two year school is not good. Mm. An IIM Ahmedabad is still an IIM Ahmedabad whether it is one year or two year. And a Great Lakes will be one year or two year. We are also going to have the two year. The idea of one year is not just one year or two year. Mm. The two year students are all fresh graduates, no mm. business experience. Mm. And therefore they need the internship. Mm. And therefore they need some sort of a digesting period. Mm. Whereas if I take people like you, mm. who are two to three years of experience, and at the same time, they don't need to have an internship. Mm. So, and the second summer is there, so it is only 18 months. Mm. The 14th, 15th month, they get a job and therefore, why do you waste the time? Mm. So, if you can compress that thing and create that two year is a minimum mm. and take people who are already knowing the fundamentals of business mm. and now you polish them with the uh, super success, it will be an effective. And that is why they are performing very, very well. Okay. And that's exactly And, and I, I must say, I've come a long way from my two, three years of experience absolutely, days. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> and uh, I also want to talk to you about your uh, involvement with the government, with the Indian government for uh, propagating education within India. You were also uh, in association, you collaborated with Sam Petroda for yes, uh, yes. the penetration of IT in various states in uh, India like Gujarat Correct. and exactly right. Tamil Nadu and so, uh, see, all for, of these Fortunately, states. Sam Petroda is a, a neighbor of mine in Oak Group for the past 25 years. Hmm. So even in the Knowledge Commission, I was a major input person. I am very much involved with Planning Commission. Montek Singhal Wale is a genius. Mm -hmm. And of course, he understands how we can do certain things for mm -hmm. poor, responsible poor. Similarly, this corporate affairs. So if I am able to bring the government, and at the same time, the industry background with the industry thing, then there can be a unison of that. Mm -hmm. And that is why I want to make the Great Lakes spread all over the place in the mm -hmm. India. East, West and, uh, and, and Do you North. think that in India we give a lot of emphasis to research and development? Because most of our education is, uh, you know, drawing emphasis on learning facts. Even uh, Narayan Murthy in one of his uh, various lectures at Great Lakes that I attended uh, talk about how much we have a wealth of textbook, textual knowledge, yeah. but not really so much to do with the patents and research material. Yeah, people did not understand because probably before 1991 our horizon of the world was within India. Whereas when the economic liberalization, we have opened up to the entire world. And therefore, when the other is, if US is trying to patent turmeric, US is trying to patent basmati rice, <laughs> then how much time it will take for them to take all the good things from Kautilya, Sartha Sastra, and all mm. the managements were really written so well. And therefore, we have to protect our intellectual capacity and at the same time go out and make sure that it is propagated. Correct. Instead of people saying let a, let a, let a Harvard or a, let us say uh, some other university should come to India, I would write to put a Nalanda in New York, mm. I want to put a Takasila in Texas, mm. I want to put a Pushpagiri in Pittsburgh. Mm. So we should be rather now 
be the intellectual knowledge capital for the world and we should do this stuff. And in fact, even if you take colleges like the Harvard University where they have Eastern uh, Asian studies, studies, they do not have a lot of Indian um, values, um, and, values Indian and ethics and being professed yeah. in that particular I, I think it course. is part of the problem is the government's uh, lack of ability in lobbying it. Mm -hmm. And also probably the professors like me who is sitting there, our ability to persuade the U.S. and the U.S. educational system and the U.S. industrial system to our values. Mm -hmm. Now they are able to see, hey, wait a minute, Karman Niyavadikara say Mahapalaishukata, you don't need to think for always a return on investment. Mm -hmm. All right? Now only they are finding it long-term goals may mm -hmm. be the better thing for sustainable profitability mm -hmm. rather than short-term stock price appreciation Correct. every quarter. Mm -hmm. I think, I think it is our job to propagate that thing yeah. and I think the very fact that we have so many deans, yeah. there is a Nitin Noria in Harvard, there is a Sunil Kumar in, in the University of Chicago, there is a Deepak Jain at the staff and there are many more deans are going to come yeah. who are all Indian origin fellows yeah. Yeah. and you will see in the next five years a tremendous amount of knowledge transfer from yeah. India to US as opposed to that. Okay. And before we sign off, uh, Professor, I know you encourage a lot of uh, entrepreneurship. So as a sign off word to all our viewers, can you tell us about how you want youngsters out there to go and embrace entrepreneurship and try to... I, I think uh, entrepreneurship is the best thing. It is always better to have wealth creation uh -huh. rather than wealth consumption. Uh -huh. And similarly, it is always better job creation rather than job consumption. And that is why we have created with uh, President Kalam inaugurating that mm -hmm. and Orchid Chemicals putting that a sort of an entrepreneurial research center with innovation mm -hmm. and actually with the technology advantage that US has, I'm sorry, India has in terms of IT, it should be not only entrepreneurship, it should be a technopreneurship. Again, okay. another word I have created. <laughs> the technopreneurship or edupreneurship. Mm -hmm. That is entrepreneurship in the education space. Mm -hmm. Entrepreneurship with technology as a base. And as a matter of fact, next year we are giving a degree given by Irina Institute of Technology for technopreneurship mm -hmm. for people to study in India, in Chennai, in Great Lakes. Mm -hmm. So I think the world is changing and I think entrepreneurship is the way. We could not have even conceived of a Dhiruba Ambani about mm -hmm. 35 years back mm -hmm. and now Mukesh Ambani, his son and Anil Ambani, even though they were split, but they are together creating more value if they were together. Correct. So therefore, what is wrong with that? Even that is fine. Okay. If they want to fight, fight, so long the shareholders are happy. Mm. So, th so therefore, I have a feeling that there will be many more Dhirubhai Ambani's and others are going to come in addition to Ratan Tata's of established companies. All right. So thank you so much, Very Professor much Bala right. Balachandran, for joining us on Off the Record. If you have any feedback for us, please write to us as feedback at ndtv-hindu.com. Until I see you again next week, this is Divya Singharavedu signing off. Bye-bye.